What can I say, kids? I am a sucker for good free software, and today's little gem that I recently found uh, really trips my trigger. This utility will let you have multiple panel configurations on your XFCE desktop. We are looking at XF Panel Switch right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's begin. Uh, I believe the creator's name is Sean Davis, and this is his uh, website right here. It gives you an introduction to the XFCE panel switch software. And also gives you some uh, screenshots and some examples. Alright, and we're going to take a closer look at uh, those in a moment here. This also has a Launchpad page. Now, uh, I was reading on some articles. This item is already in the latest um, Zubuntu. So if you're running the latest Ubuntu, you already have this. But if you're running some other Ubuntu derivative, you can uh, go to the Launchpad and get this there. You can even possibly add a PPA for it. And in further reading, it looks like somebody has already ported this to Fedora. And, of course, if you're on Arch or any derivative thereof, such as uh, Manjaro, Archbang, that sort of thing, you can get this from the AUR. And let me tell you what, for a tiny little program, this packs one hell of a mean punch. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and close Firefox here. And um, let's open the software. I made a quick launch to this so that I'd have uh, quick access to it. And I even made an example. Now, some of you know from speaking to me in the past that pretty much my panel serves multiple functions. Because I don't have any docs or anything like this. My panel serves multiple purposes. For instance, you know, I have a launcher uh, assigned. And I also have these little buttons here across the top, which perform different functions that you would expect on a panel, such as my drop-down terminal. I can open up a file manager, web browser, uh, edit text files, change my screen resolution, play music. I even have a drop-down drawer for all of my um, desktop publishing apps and a quick launch to play on Linux for all of my um, gaming and other wine things. I have mine set up so that in the center I have uh, my uh, active running applications and then all of my notifications appear on the right side of the screen such as my Wi-Fi indicator, my um, update manager, um, my uh, Wi-Fi in and out, my time, CPU usage, uh, I have three desktop switchers, real tiny and stacked up here, uh, weather, and then, of course, uh, a power switch. So uh, I've set this up pretty nicely, but then enter this software here. Now I can do some really cool things. I can save a backup of my panel so that I can do some fiddling around and then revert back and forth. Let's take a look at some of the defaults and then I'll uh, expand on this. Okay, you have a uh, Zubuntu Modern. Let's apply that. You just select the one you want, press the gear, and then it will give you the Zubuntu Modern uh, appearance. And of course, depending on which um, application you use to manage your menu uh, entries, uh, this actually honors them. So um, this has a different look than my current uh, a panel, uh, the, my current whisker menu, but it remembers the settings, which is awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Gotta love it. Let's look at uh, Zubuntu Classic. Okay, so now we have a dock on the bottom that auto hides, and then um, a standard little menu, and your indicators and desktop switcher. This is the standard XFCE 412. 
And this, on a standard XSC desktop, this is the default layout that you would get. And this is a great starting point when you're adding things to the panel and that sort of thing. Uh, the Redmond look here, I guess, is supposed to give a Windows uh, uh, 95, 98 kind of look and feel to your panel. Or, in this case, taskbar. <laughs> All right, and then we have uh, the GNOME 2 look. Awesome sauce. So now you have, uh, a pin, you know, you can switch your desktops here. You know, you can hide and collapse all applications and uh, show the desktop. And a simple little setup here, your settings, controls, and that sort of thing. This is great. And then I can revert back to Spatry, which is my default desktop here. And it remembers everything, so I didn't lose any of my configuration that I have on my uh, on my uh, launcher. Uh, my whisker menu is behaving in a way that I expect that it should. So this is incredible stuff. And then I made one called Spatry Game. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is my con current configuration, but I decided to add another panel down here where I've got icons spread about and that sort of thing. So this this is pretty cool. Now, in a perfect world, nothing is ever perfect. Um, I did run into a bug on this, but it is certainly not a deal breaker because it can be worked around. Uh, if you have um, uh, something like this, um, like I've got Spatry Games selected here and I want to make changes to the panel and save it under that exact same name, the software crashes. I had to run xkill, kill the software completely, and relaunch it. And what I ended up having to do to work around that is I would just go to the current configuration and then just make a new setting and save it and then just delete the old one that I don't want anymore. Because you do have those options available. The default settings you're going to see the trash can here is grayed out. Okay, But any configurations that you do make, it shows the uh, trash can lit up there. So, And of course, uh, the other options, you can import settings, which I have not tried. You can export settings. haven't done that one yet. Of course, save configuration and then uh, apply a given configuration. So now you can literally go in and have all kinds of fun. The XFCE panel has so many possibilities. You can just right click on your uh, panel and uh, go into uh, panel, panel preferences. All right, and there are tons and tons of options that you have available. You know, um, for instance, I have this panel down here locked. Why don't I unlock that for a minute so that we can meddle with this? I mean, uh, there are a number of things you can do to uh, change its appearance. If you have uh, compositing enabled, you know, you can change the alpha of the panel. You can also uh, change and put graphics in the background like I have on this upper panel here. Um, so you have... You know, you have opacity, enter and exit. Let's look at this. Okay, so you can see you can add varying degrees of uh, transparency to this, which is kind of cool. I just prefer the alpha there. And I mean, tons and tons of options. And you'll notice uh, by having under the items here, I've got... Uh, two little launchers and then a separator. Select the separator. Press the gear tool here and have them on an expand. And by uh, enabling or disabling the uh, expand, you can do some pretty fun things with your uh, icons and your launchers. So, had a lot of fun with that. Pressing the plus button here. You have tons and tons and tons of plugins for this thing. So, like I've got up here on the upper right, I mean, I've got plugins for literally everything. What do I need Conky on my screen for when uh, the XFCE panel has it all and I have it in a nice, tight, little compact space? This is awesome sauce, kids. you got to try this out. Tons and tons and tons of different uh, applications. And if you don't like one, 
there may be uh, some other options out there as well. And who knows, I, I think they may even have plugins that will let you pull in uh, Gnome 2 or uh, Mate uh, plugins. I haven't tried that, but... I think they have something like that available. Uh, there are so many choices here just for XFCE alone. You know, why would I want to try some of those uh, other options out there? Because uh, this does everything that I need. So at the end of the day, XFCE panel switch is awesome sauce. And if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend that you do a little research on this. Get this into your distribution and try it out. Awesome work, Sean Davis. Awesome stuff indeed. I love this, and I hope to see this in uh, future editions of uh, Manjaro. Mm -hmm.